Even though recreational marijuana is now legal in California, most people probably wouldn't be comfortable smoking around police officers. But that's exactly what Edson Viegas volunteered to do. I don't know, no problem. It's going to be fun. He took part in a green lab to help officers, prosecutors, and toxicologists identify signs of impairment because drug driving is becoming a bigger problem on our roads. And approximately 75% of the DUI arrests that I make nowadays are drug impaired, more specifically to cannabis than alcohol. The volunteer users took field sobriety tests at the beginning of the evening, then went into a tent and smoked some marijuana. When they went back and took the same field sobriety tests, officers could see if there were any changes in their mental or physical abilities. Whether it's lack of convergence in the eyes, uh, divided attention issues, your ability to, to, uh, to do two tasks at one time. An attorney started running green labs like this in Colorado when marijuana became legal there. He's now hoping Californians can use these exercises to figure out how to maintain public safety in this new environment. I think we have some detection tools that are out there. There are a lot of questions of do we need better tools out there? The science severely is lagging behind the policy in part because it still remains illegal federally. These volunteers are happy to do their part, so officers here know they can't judge every marijuana user the same way. It's it's different for everyone. You know, if you're an avid user and use it more, it's going to affect you a little bit differently. Like Viegas, he admits he shouldn't get behind the wheel after smoking, and he says he doesn't. If I'm high, I don't want to drive, you know? It's like, for what? You know, it's like, I'm high, you know? It's like, I just want to sit there, you know? In Santa Ana, Tina Patel, CBS2 News.